Okay, so I'm here to tell you about something that you'll probably um, disagree on. Okay, here it goes. Um, follow your heart and not your wallet. Hmm. I can hear some people saying, yeah, it's easy for you to say you have a gold belt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um. Okay. 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 When I was one, <laughs> joke lang, <laughs> one story, short story, um, I was born into a not so um, wealthy family. Well, it's supposed to be a bit wealthy, but then it's very traditionally Chinese. And you know what happens in traditional Chinese family? Well, not for all, for those Chinese who are watching. Um, you know, usually when you break tradition or when you do something that your parents don't like, um, they kick you out of the house. So. That's what happened to us, to me and my mom. So I basically lived in, the, lived in the streets. Yes, it may not seem obvious now, thank you. But before... Kim, what is that? I'm distracted. Okay, so... Um, but uh, no, before, um, that was my life. Um, going from one church to another. First, there's Quiapo Church, then San Sebastian, then Holy Face. All the churches imaginable around the Quiapo area. So that's how I lived. Um, I got a scholarship to Ateneo de Davao High School when we transferred to Davao. Um, well, partly because we also didn't have money to stay here in Manila, that we have to go there. Then I also had a scholarship in Ateneo de Manila University. So yes, it wasn't a very easy childhood for me. Um, but that didn't stop me from following my dreams. See, when I graduated from Ateneo de Manila University, um, I got several offers from big corporations with really um, tempting compensations and benefits. And um, I thought about it for a while because up to now, I'm still a breadwinner. Um, I'm still helping my mom and my brother. So it's, ve it's a very difficult decision to make. But when I saw social entrepreneurship, I knew that this was something I really want to do. And although it will not reward me as much um, co as compared to if I go corporate, I know that this will really make me happy. And eventually, the money will come. So although that is really a high hope then, or at least that's what I have been convincing myself all along. But when I found that I really want to do social entrepreneurship, I just went for it. And it wasn't a, an easy decision. I know for a lot of people out there, um, you also have the same dilemmas. You also have the same um, problems that you're facing now. But, well, whatever you want to do, whatever you love doing, um, just do it. Because the, the things or the things that you want, the things that will make you comfortable will just come after. After you felt that happiness, you felt that fulfillment. So let me illustrate. Um, I am now working in rags to riches. So what is rags to riches? Of course, obviously, as I have been repeating all over again for the past few seconds, it's a social business enterprise. So just to describe briefly what a social business enterprise is, um, a social business enterprise is an enterprise that has a social cause, that helps people or that improves the world in one way or another. So that's what I really love doing. Of course, from um, a layman's perspective or from someone who doesn't really know social entrepreneurship, it may sound a bit like an NGO. <gasps> no money. Okay, volunteer work. Oh no. But, you know, social entrepreneurship is a new track and when you really love it, you're gonna make it work because you've told everybody else. So there's really nowhere to go. Um, so, I went to Rags to Riches. What does rag, Rags to Riches do? Um, it helps the women of Payatas, you know, the dump site. So, um, we go there and then we help the rug makers um, make their business more sustainable and scalable. We're also partnered with Raja Laurel, who designs the um, bags which are now, which were once rugs. And the nanas are really doing well now. So that's a social business enterprise. Um, as for rags to riches, the social problems we were solving was 
well, environmental degradation, well, it's Payatas, right? And the livelihood also. You know, the women in Payatas, it's either they don't work or they make chismes or they video all, all day. I know you know that, you hear it in your neighborhood sometimes. And what else? Ah, yeah, they gamble too. So these are the very unproductive things which you just see around and you say, I wish there's somebody who can do something about it. It's either you're that or you're saying, I wish I can do something about it. Well, guess what? There is a new way to actually do something about it and not go hungry yourself. So if you follow something that you really love, you're going to make it work. Like what we did in Rags to Riches. Right now, we're reaching international markets. We're also in Firma and get this, Greenbelt 3. And we're also in House of Laurel. So it's really doing well. And eventually, hopefully, it's going to um, be as successful as any other corporation. And of course, it follows that it can also compensate as well. So you see, Yes, it's very challenging, especially if you are a striving, starving artist, for example, who likes draw drawing or making shirts. But you know, if you really love what you're doing and you're so passionate about it, you just have to believe in it well enough that other people will believe in that too. You know, belief in yourself is very infectious. Um, when you believe in yourself and you believe in your values and your cause, people will eventually believe you too, because it starts from you. If you doubt yourself, how can you expect others to also to believe you or to give you money for it or to support you when you yourself, you don't really understand what you're doing in the first place, right? So for me, you know, just follow your dream. Yes, it's very easy to say right now and it's very difficult to leave your comfort zone, to leave the place where you feel most secured in, but you know it's worth it. Um, it's worth it to wake up every Monday morning and say, I love this day and this day is going to be great. And I love going to work. And not just always looking forward to Fridays and dreading Mondays. So if you love the feeling of getting up every day and knowing that there's something great for you out there, it's really worth the risk of leaving just security and just comfort. So my What's this supposed to be? Kidding. <laughs> Kidding. La, they're looking at me like they want to eat me. <laughs> I'm looking for a space where you can see it well. They're all laughing at me now. Okay. <laughs> can I make it big? No. <laughs> Why is this taking so long, this writing? Okay. It's making so much noise, huh, this cardboard. Okay. Be an inspiration. So guys, if you follow what you love to do and you follow your heart and not just any other like comfort or security and you just follow what you're called to do, you know, the things that you dreamt of as a child, then you can be an inspiration to many. I hope I was to you. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect.